Differentiation in practical situations. An example, a rectangle has a perimeter of 100. Find the maximum possible area. So we'll give ourselves a general rectangle. A general rectangle's got sides x and y. So we know the perimeter of this is x plus y plus x plus y, 2x plus 2y, and we know that equals 100. Simplify that down to x plus y is 50. And then we can write y in terms of x. So y equals 50 minus x. So we can replace that y with 50 minus x. The area of this rectangle is x times 50 minus x. So that's 50x minus x squared. To find a maximum, we're going to have to use differentiation. We're going to have to differentiate it, set it to 0 and that will tell us the maximum points. So if we differentiate it, we get dA by dx. So that's going to be 50 minus 2x. So it equals 0 at a stationary point. That tells us straight away that x is 25. That gives us that the two sides are 25 and 25. So the maximum possible area of a rectangle is a square with sides 25. So that's going to be 625. Another example, an open cardboard box is made with square base side x and the volume is 500 cubic centimetres. Find an expression for the height in terms of x. So the volume is length times width times height, x times x times h. So it's v equals x squared h. We know the volume is 500, so 500 equals x squared h. Find an expression for height in terms of x, h equals 500 over x squared. We're always trying to put our unknown side into terms of the other one, so usually into terms of x. We want to find the total area of this cardboard box. Remember it's an open cardboard box, so there's no top. So the base of it is going to be x squared, and the four sides are going to be 4 times x times h. But we've already expressed h in terms of x, so a equals x squared plus 4x times 500 over x squared. So it's the same as a equals x squared plus 2000 over x. Find dA by dx and solve dA by dx equals 0. Well, if I want to differentiate that, I'm going to have to rewrite that a with the x instead of being at the bottom of a fraction as an index. So it's going to be a equals x squared plus 2000 x to the minus 1. The minus because it's underneath and the 1 because it only has a power of 1. dA by dx equals 2x minus 2000 x to the minus 2. Bring the power down to the front, not 1 of the power. Solve that equals to 0. We'll multiply through by x squared and move that 2000 across the other side. I get 2x cubed equals 2000. Divide through by the 2. x cubed equals 1000. x equals 10. Find the second derivative and show that it is a minimum. So the second derivative, I'm looking back at my dA by dx equals 2x minus 2000x to the minus 2. Second derivative is just going to be 2 plus 4000x to the minus 3. And to show it as a minimum, I'm going to plug in x as 10. Remembering that x to the minus 3 is, the minus means it's underneath, the 3 means it's cubed. So it's going to be 2 plus 4000 over 1000. 2 plus 4, 6, positive, therefore it's a min. Find the minimum value of the area, so find min a. Well, I'm going to look back at my a formula, so the red one there. a equals 10 squared plus 2000 over 10. So a is 100 plus 200, so the minimum value of a is 300. Thank you.